Good morning and once again welcome to our official YouTube channel DVUPS for you for our English class for standard 6. If we look around, we can see a group of people who has been caged. Then who may be that? Yeah, that's they are girls. If we analyze, we can understand that in Kerala there are a number of women who has made their own places in different fields of life. Not even in Kerala, in India, in world, the women have shown their power. Even then, in many places, we can see that the girl children, they have been caged. They have not given any type of freedom, even the freedom to uh, speak to someone else, even the freedom to study like that. Now, this our new unit is related to that. Here you can see a newspaper cutting. Please go through that and try to understand what it contains. Go through this news report. What's it? 10 year old girl dies of torture by stepmother. Like now, a 10 year old girl surrendered to death at the medical college hospital here on Thursday on being tortured by her stepmother. According to the police, the deceased is Shalaka, daughter of Aravind Indiranagar Lagnau. Shalaka was a student of class 6 of government high school at Indiranagar. She was admitted with serious injuries to a hospital in the city around 6 p.m. on Thursday. The doctors who found the parents' explanation unsatisfactory informed the police. Later, she was shifted to the medical college hospital where she died around 11 p.m. Preliminary medical reports confirmed that the girl had undergone extreme physical torture with which resulted in her death. There were several marks on her body. Local residents said that they had informed childline activists about this inf incident. So, what do you get from this? Ah, this is a newspaper report about a girl who has surrendered to death. Then, what was the reason for her death? The torture of stepmother. Do you have the habit of reading newspapers? Yeah, of course, you have to make such a habit. Then, if we read the newspaper nowadays, every day we can find such a news in our newspaper. Even the small child below one year are also killed in this way. Such type of attacks have been made upon children. Then, what's your opinion about this newspaper report? Is this because of the child? Is this because of the freedom not given to the child? Yeah. Who is responsible for that? Parents. Parents are responsible for this death. We can see that the stepmother has treated this girl very badly. Now, here are some questions related to that newspaper report. What is the news report about? What is the reason for the girl's death? What would you do if such a thing happened in your locality? If you are familiar with such cases in your locality, what will you do? Then have you ever come across such incidents in your life? Have you ever faced such a situation in your life when your parents or your relatives are treating you badly? Then you have to be aware of child helpline centers. So here also we have to study a story about a girl. Her name is Cinderella. Then she was the daughter of a very rich man. But in course of life, she has been changed to a 
servant. She was treated as a servant in her own house. Do you help your parents to do any works? What helps do you do? Huh? You will help to wash clothes? Okay, that's a nice idea. Then to wash the dishes. Okay, then help your mother in your kitchen. Then ah, clean your house and clean your surroundings. All these are the helps you can do for your mother or for yourself. Now here in this story, we have a girl. Her name is Cinderella. Her name is Cinderella. Her original name was Ella. Her original name was Ella. And as she was treated as a servant and there were cinders all over her hair. What do you mean by cinder? Chara. As she has cinders all over her hair, she has got the name Cinderella. Now, we can move to the story. Look at the picture. What do you see here? What do you see here? Ah, a woman is lying on the bed. Then a girl is sitting near her. Then what about the girl's mood? Look at the face carefully. How is she? Is she happy or sad? Ah, she is very sad. Now move on to the story. The cinder girl. Once upon a time, there was a rich man who lived happily with his wife and daughter. One day, his wife fell sick. When she felt that her end was drawing near, she called her only daughter near her and said, Dear child, be good and pious and God will always take care of you. I will look upon you from heaven and will be with you. Go through the passage once more. The cinder girl. Cinder girl is the name of the cinder girl. Once upon a time, there was a rich man who lived happily with his wife and daughter. Cinderella was the daughter of a rich man. One day, his wife fell sick. Then Cinderella's mother, she was sick. She fell sick. When she felt that her end was drawing near, so she began to feel, My end is coming. I am going to She called her, her only daughter near her and said, Dear child, be good and pious. Good is pious. Ah, having belief in God. Deva Vishwasi Ayrikyuga. Be good and pious. And God will always take care of you. If you are pious, if you have strong belief in God, then God will help you or God will take care of you. I will look upon you from heaven and will be with you. I will look upon you from heaven. So, I will be with you. With you. And then she closed her eyes forever. The maiden went every day to her mother's grave and wept and remained pious and good. When winter came, the snow covered the grave with a white covering. Then the sun came in the early spring and melted it away. Soon, Cinderella's father married again. The new wife was a proud and unkind woman. Then, giving such advice to girl, to Cinderella, Cinderella's mother died. Then, she closed her eyes forever means she has died. The maiden went every day to her mother's grave. Who is the maiden here? Who is the maiden? Ah, Cinderella. Cinderella is the maiden mentioned here. Then she always, every day, she will go near the mother's grave. The grave Shavagudira. To the grave and wept. And remained 
pious and good adodappan thane endu the promise given to her mother she always tried to keep the promise given to her mother to be good and pious when winter came the snow covered the grave with a white covering at the time of winter ella idavum manju moodi then the sun came in the early spring and melted it away spring time aayapado the sun began to bright and all this snow was melted away soon cinderella's father married again the new wife was a proud and unkind woman after the death of cinderella's mother cinderella's father married again and that girl sorry that woman that woman was very much proud and at the same time an unkind woman ottu dey illatha oru stree aayi look at the next paragraph the new wife brought her two daughters along with her so that mother she was not alone the stepmother was not alone she has two daughters also she brought that children along with her and though they were beautiful and fair in appearance at heart they were wicked and ugly they were very good looking in the appearance they were very beautiful good looking but at heart they were wicked and ugly wicked what is wicked a vakra buddhi ulla oru എപ്പോഴും മറ്റുള്ളവരെ ദ്രോഹിക്കണം എന്നൊക്കെയുള്ള ഒരു ചിന്തയുള്ള ആൻഡ് അഗ്ലി അഗ്ലി മീൻസ് ബാഡ് മനസ്സുകൊണ്ട് വളരെ മോശപ്പെട്ടവരായിട്ടും took away her pretty dresses and forced her to put on an old grey one they are they also gave her wooden shoes to wear the step sisters laughed at her and sent her to the kitchen there she was made to do heavy work from morning to night get up early in the morning draw water make the fire cook and wash in the evenings she was quite tired after the day's hard work as she had no bed to lie upon she had to rest on the hearth among the cinders the she always looked dusty and dirty as she slept in the cinders so they named her cinderella then in this paragraph we can understand the sufferings of the girl cinderella after her father's second marriage when the father was married again that woman his wife was a proud and unkind woman and when she came to the house she brought her two children also and they were even they were good looking they were very bad at heart at that time cinderella's evil days began pa ammeyum randan ammeyum makkalum veetilekku vannu kazhinjappolekke adodu kudi cinderella's mosham dinangal aarambichu ennana parayunnu is the stupid creature to sit in the same room with us so itrem vidhiyaya ee jendu ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടെ ഒരു റൂമിൽ ഇരിക്കുമോ അത് ചോദിക്കുമ്പോഴേ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റും ഏത് രീതിയിലാണ് സിന്ദ്രലെ അവിടെ കണക്കാക്കിയിരുന്നത് സോ ഷി വാസ് നോട്ട് ഗിവൺ എ ചാൻസ് ഓർ നീ നെവർ ഗിവൺ എ ഫ്രീഡം ടു സിറ്റ് ഈവൻ ഇൻ ദ സെയിം റൂം വെയർ ദേ സിറ്റ് അവരിരിക്കുന്ന അതേ മുറിയിൽ ഇരിക്കാനുള്ള സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യം പോലും സിന്ദ്രലയ്ക്ക് കൊടുത്തിരുന്നില്ല ദോസ് ഹു ഈറ്റ് ഫുഡ് മസ്റ്റ് ഏൺ ഇറ്റ് those who eat food they have to earn it that means they have to do works if they eat something endengil kalikkunnundengil adanu anusarichu 
എന്തെങ്കിലും ജോലി ചെയ്ത് സമ്പാദിക്കുകയും വേണം എന്നുള്ള ഒരു നിലപാടായിരുന്നു അവർക്കുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് ഷീ ഇസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് എ കിച്ചൺ മേ ഷീ വാസ് ട്രീറ്റ് ആസ് എ സെർവൻറ് കിച്ചൺ മേ ഒരു അടുക്കളക്കാരി ആയിട്ടാണ് സിന്ദറലെ അവര് കണക്കാക്കിയത് they took away her pretty dresses and forced her to put on an old grey one and as they are treating her as a kitchen maid she don't need pretty dresses or beautiful dresses costly dresses apo as she is the daughter of a rich man she has a number of new dresses she has a number of pretty dresses costly dresses വളരെ പഴ പഴകിയ നരച്ച ഒരു ഡ്രസ് ഇടാൻ അവളെ നിർബന്ധിച്ചു ദ ഓൾസോ ഗേവ് ഹ എ വുഡൻ ഷൂസ് ടു വിയർ അവളുടെ ഭംഗിയുള്ള ചെരുപ്പുകളും ഷൂസുകളും എല്ലാം മാറ്റിയിട്ട് എന്തുകൊണ്ടുള്ള ഷൂസ് ആണ് കൊടുത്തത് ആ ഷീ ഗേവ് ഹ സോറി ദ ഗേവ് ഹ എ വുഡൻ ഷൂസ് ദ സ്റ്റെപ് സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ലാവ് ദറ്റ് ഹ and sent her to the kitchen there she was made to do heavy work from morning to night she has to do heavy works from the morning to night so she had to get up early in the morning then she had to make the fire she had to fetch the water clean the clothes and so many works every work in that house it was her own duty get up early in the morning draw water make the fire cook and wash even sorry in the evenings she was quite tired after the day's hard work as she has to work hard from the early morning when towards the evening she will be very much tired as she had no bed to lie upon she had to rest on the hearth among the cinders she has no bed she had lost the bed also she lost everything she lost her mother and after that loss she had lost everything she lost her clothes new shoes now she lost her bed also she was taking rest on the hearth among the cinders nammade aduppu kootuna adu eripod undallo അതിനടുത്തായിട്ടാണ് കിടന്നിരുന്നത് ഷി ഓൾവേസ് ലുക്ക്സ് ഡസ്റ്റി ആൻഡ് ഡേർട്ടി ആസ് ഷീ സ്ലെപ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ സിൻഡേഴ്സ് സോ ദി നെയ്ഡ് ഹ സിൻഡറല്ല അങ്ങനെ കാലപ്പഴക്കത്തിൽ എല്ലാം ആരായി മാറി സിൻഡറല്ലയായി മാറി നാ ഡു യു ബിലീവ് സം ചേഞ്ചസ് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ആസ് വി ആർ ഹോപ്പിംഗ് ഫോർ ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് we always hope for good things to come here also we can find that the condition of cinderella is going to change let's have a look at the incidents the magic begins the magic begins one day the young prince of the land invited all the young girls of the kingdom to a ball planning to choose his princess from amongst them sundarlas sisters were delighted on hearing this invitation they selected the best gowns they dressed their hairs but they were not taking sundarla with them you can go when beggars hold a ball they told her comb our hair brush our shoes and make our buckles fast we are going to the princess ball when she heard this cinderella could not help crying for she too liked to go to the party she begged her step mother to take her along what you cinderella in all your dust and dirt you want to go to the ball you have no dress and no shoes you want to dance she turned her back to cinderella and hurriedly set out with her two proud daughters when cinderella lost sight of them she felt very sad she started crying tears rolled down her cheeks she thought of her own mother if my mother had been alive 
she would have sent me to the ball. Suddenly, she heard a voice. You will certainly go to the ball. I am your fairy godmother. Cinderella turned around. She saw a fairy standing in front of her. I am the queen of fairies, she said. I will send you to the ball. Okay, now look at this passage once more. The magic begins. Now here, from here, we can see that a change is happening to Cinderella's condition. That's why the heading is given or the title is given as The Magic Begins. One day, the young prince of the land invited all the young girls of the kingdom to a ball, planning to choose his princess from amongst them. Who called the ball? Are the prince, the young prince. Why? Why did he plan such a ball? He planned such a ball to find his wife, to choose his princess. So he planned to conduct a ball and he invited all the young girls in their country to the ball. Cinderella's sisters were delighted on hearing this invitation. Hearing this invitation, Cinderella's sisters, they were very much delighted. What is the meaning of delighted? Happy. They were very much happy to hear the news because they were in great hope because both of them are good looking. They selected the best gowns, they dressed their hairs, but they were not taking Cinderella with them. When they heard the news of ball, they selected best their, their best gowns and made their hairs very beautiful. But they were not taking Cinderella with them. Even though she was also a girl in that country. When she told about her wish to attend the ball, this was their reply. What was that? You can go when beggars hold a ball. You can go when beggars hold a ball. Even though she is the daughter of a rich man, now she is considered as a silly servant. So, they are ridiculing them. Comb our hair, brush our shoes and make our buckles fast. We are going to the princess ball. We are going to the princess ball. So, make us beauty. We are going to the princess when she heard this, Cinderella could not help crying. So, she could not help crying means, ah, she began to weep. Karayan Dudai. For she too liked to go to the party. Avalkum, party il poganam in the valare adigam agraham undairam. She begged her stepmother to take her along. Dandana made it in the She begged her stepmother to take her along. Then what was her reply? What? You Cinderella in all your dust and dirt? You want to go to the ball? You have no dress and no shoes. You want to dance? You have no dress, beautiful dress. You have no shoes and you want to dance and with all your dirt you want to attend the ball? She turned her back to Cinderella and hurriedly set out with her two proud daughters. She turned her back to Cinderella. Ah, she rejected Cinderella's request. Cinderella de Abekshenga Tali Kalanyoda Vitti Tirinyadina Angapuram Dirinya Nadanu Enola. And she Hurriedly set out. Hurriedly. What is the meaning of hurriedly? Hurriedly. Speedly or suddenly. Set out with her two proud daughters. And avirude rendu makkalayin undu avire irangipoi. When Cinderella lost sight of them, she felt very sad. Avire kandilindang maranyu erinyapidayake. She felt very sad. 
she started crying she started crying tears rolled down her cheeks she thought of her own mother she thought of her own mother who had left her if my mother had been alive she would have sent me to the war if my mother had been alive she would have sent me to the war and amme undayirengil urappayittu enne idu paranju vittene ayirunnu enne party il pangedukkan enikku sammadham thannene suddenly she heard a voice who was that ah the sound of fairy godmother the voice said you will certainly go to the ball i am your fairy godmother cinderella turned around she saw a fairy standing in front of her and the queen of fairies she said i will send you to the ball who is that fairy the queen of fairies and she is very much confidently saying that she will send cinderella to the ball well said her godmother be a good girl and i will contrive that you shall go i will contrive that you shall go i will promise that you can go or give word in your apichu parayan pattum ninakku aa party il pangedukkan pattum she went to, with cinderella into her chamber and told her run into the garden and bring me a pumpkin go and bring a pumpkin from the garden have you seen the pumpkin ah it's very big so she asked cinderella to go to the garden and bring a big pumpkin cinderella went immediately to gather the finest pumpkin she could get she reached the garden and she searched everywhere and selected the finest pumpkin and brought it to her godmother she brought it to the fairy godmother she could not imagine how this pumpkin could help her to go to the ball she could not think or she could not imagine how this pumpkin would help me to go to the ball or how this pumpkin will help me to attend the ball the fairy waved a magic wand over the pumpkin she waved the fairies always or the people who show magic they always have a stick in them they a magic wand a magic stick then here also the fairy godmother had a wand a magic wand in her hand and when cinderella brought the pumpkin she waved the wand she waved the wand suddenly the pumpkin changed into a red coach when she waved the magic wand that pumpkin was changed to a red coach was a, what was the color of the coach ah a red one then the fairy said you will travel in this coach to the palace you will travel in this coach to the palace but we must have horses to draw it we have got a coach but we have we need who to carry this ah we need horses there is a mouse trap in the backyard of your house bring it to me then the godmother said there is a mouse trap in the backyard bring it to me cinderella went out and brought the mouse trap there were six mice in it how many mice in it six mice six mice were in the trap mouse trap the fairy waved the magic wand over it and all the mice were turned into six white horses as the fairy waved the magic wand all the six mice were changed to six white horses looking at the coach and the horses the fairy said now we have a coach to travel in and six horses to draw it but we haven't any footman we haven't any footman idu kondu vanna aalu vende kudira valikkana aalu vende 
Go again into the garden and you will find six lizards behind the watering pot. Behind the watering pot, you can find six lizards. Lizard in the you can find six lizards. A lizard no another, Padlikim lizard in the Marim, own the new lizard no ring, garden lizard, house lizard. When Cinderella brought the lizards, the fairy changed them into footmen. Fairy changed them into footmen. The footman bowed at her. The footman bowed at her. They wore blue and yellow clothes. What were the color? Blue and yellow. Cinderella was very happy to see them. But she became sad when she looked at her clothes. But I cannot go in these rags. She said. I will give you wonderful clothes. The fairy said. The fairy touched Cinderella with her magic wand. Here also she had a solution. She touched Cinderella with the magic wand. And her rags changed into beautiful clothes of silk and gold. Her clothes were changed to beautiful one with gold. Gold and silk. There were diamonds in her hair. And she wore, she wore two pretty glass shoes. She wore diamonds on her hair. She had diamonds. The hair was decorated with diamonds. And in her legs she has Beautiful glass shoes. Then the fairy said, You can go to the ball now. But remember, the magic ends at 12 o'clock. You must return home before that time. Then she has been made ready to attend the ball. And at that time, the fairy godmother gave Cinderella a warning. Eh? What was the what was the warning? What was the warning? Ah, this magic. All these things are created with the help of magic. And when the bell rings or when the clock rings 12, all the magic will end. And all the things will be the same as before. So she is giving a warning to Cinderella to return home before 12 o'clock. So I think you have got a complete idea of this story up to this event. Now go through the passages once or twice. You have some questions given in the textbook. Please look at it. First one, what advice did the dying mother give her daughter at the uh, when her mother was sick and she was ready to accept the death she called her daughter and gave her an advice what was the advice then second question what happened to the mother's grave when winter came when winter came something happened it is given in the textbook itself please read the text and Write the correct answer. What happened to the grave at winter time? This third question. Cinderella was ill-treated by her stepmother and stepsisters. What could be the reasons? She was treated very badly by them. Why? What may be the reasons? Write it in your own words. What's your opinion about their ill-treatment? Why is Cinderella called so? The fourth question is, why is Cinderella called so? I have described it in the beginning of the story itself. Then fifth one, you can go when beggars hold a ball. 
what would be the feelings of cinderella to this comment when cinderella was very much eager to attend the ball or to go to the ball with her sisters she was given such a reply you can go to the ball when beggars hold a ball then what would be the feelings of cinderella what would be cinderella's feelings if my mother had been alive she would have sent me to the ball why does cinderella think so why does think cinderella think so ah here the stepmother even though uh, it was cinderella's father who is very rich here the stepmother is taking her children with her to the ball with beautiful dresses then um, decorated hair and they had been given every facilities to attend the ball but cinderella she was not given a chance to attend so she is thinking if my mother was alive she would have she would have sent me to the ball why does she think so then seventh question what changes what changes occurred to the following things when the fairy godmother waved the magic wand many things changed what were the changes happened to these things first one pumpkin second one mice then lizards and last rats what happened to these what changes happened to these things and the last question eighth question what will happen to cinderella if she cannot return home before 12 o'clock what will happen to cinderella if she will not return before 12 o'clock go through the passage many times then you will be able to find out the answers they are not a very tough task to find out the answers another task for you here cinderella was not taken to the ball and she was very much sad she was crying and she was thinking about her own mother who had left her what will be the thoughts of cinderella what will be the thoughts of cinderella when the stepmother went to the ball with her daughters amma rendan amma avarude makkaleyum undu party ku poi kanjappol cinderella ede ചിന്തകൾ എന്തായിരിക്കും റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ഹർ മദർ അമ്മയെ കുറിച്ചായിരിക്കും കൂടുതലായിട്ട് ആലോചിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടാവും അല്ലേ ആ ഇഫ് മൈ അവിടെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇഫ് മൈ ഹദർ മൈ മദർ ഹാഡ് ബീൻ എ ലൈഫ് ഷി വുഡ് ഹാവ് സെൻഡ് മി ടു ദ ബോൾ ദെൻ വാട്ട് മേ ബി ദ അതർ തോട്ട്സ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദിസ് ഇതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് ബാക്കി ചിന്തകൾ എന്തൊക്കെയാണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ അതെല്ലാം അറേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യുക ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് ദ തോട്ട്സ് ഇൻ യുവർ നോട്ട്ബുക്ക് ഓക്കെ that's all for today's class you have to write the thoughts of cinderella then write the answers for these eight questions and another one you have to go through the newspaper report and write the answers uh, watch our videos and share our videos subscribe our channel dvups for you have a nice day